Hi, my name is Wendy and I'm in my long johns exposing the truth about wind energy and telling you why wind is the best. Now we all know that the country is in an economic mess oh, and employment is rising on a daily basis. But what you probably don't realize is that wind energy is digging that hole even deeper. Why? Well, I'm going to share with you some information that's going to really make you spit mad. Well, first of all, the Energy Information Administration, or the EIA, which is part of the U.S. Department of Energy, released a report that in 2010, tax expenditures for renewable energies were $8.2 billion, with the majority of that going to, oh, wind companies, and through a gimmick called the Production Tax Credits. Now, in another report by the EIA, they said that with all the tens and thousands of wind turbines that are projected to be up and running by 2030, wind production will provide, oh, there's another one that's really going to just blow your socks off, less than 1% of our energy production in the United States. Less than 1%. Now, I ain't no Einstein. But that sounds like pretty stupid economics to me. And we wonder why Congress has a 5% approval rating? Hello? Now there's more. Now you know all these green jobs that they keep um, haranguing us about and saying, oh, we need all these green jobs, it's really important. Well, let me tell you, the largest wind farm is being built in Oregon. It's called Shepherd's Flat. It's gonna cost $2 billion. But what you don't know is that we taxpayers are fitting the bill for $1.2 billion of, of it through tax subsidies along with a $490 million cash grant. Now, hold on to your skippers, because do you know how many jobs it's going to provide? Oh my goodness, just wait till you hear. 35, it's going to provide 35 jobs. But you know how much it's going to cost per job? Only $16.3 million per job. Hmm. Now, I can't believe all this doggy do that Congress is getting from all these wind lobbyists and developers. These, these slick willies are selling their snake oil wind energy to our elected officials who are buying into the scam. Hmm. Wait a minute. Could it be? Yeah. Could it be crony capitalism? Are palms being greased? Are backs being scratched? But don't fret because there is something you can do. You see, right now there's a bipartisan bill that's in the the House Ways and Means Committee, and it's called the American Renewable Energy Production Tax Credit Extension Act, or H.R. 3307. And what this bill will do is it will extend this annual $8.2 billion payment to the wind companies for four more years until 2016. Well, let's see. <laughs> That's $32 billion for four more years to these wind companies. And they're going to provide us less than 1% energy production. Whoa! Why don't we just flush the money down the toilet? Now, this is what you can do. 
you can call the House Ways and Means Committee office in Washington, D.C., and you tell them not no, but hell no, to H.R. 3307. Their phone number is 202-225-3625. And while you're at it, call your congressman or woman, and you tell them the same thing. It's time our elected officials, these politicians, start working for us and quit throwing our own money to the wind. Well, I better go put some clothes on, but I'll be back exposing the truth about wind energy and why wind is a bus.